all right all right guys welcome back to another video today guys i have another super bowl menu item for you guys this is my pulled pork pizza this is a very flavorful dish and it's not going to take that long at all so let's jump into this video and i'm going to show you how i got it done all right guys so here's what i'm going to be using for this this is some pulled pork right here that i have and i have a video on pulled pork already so that's why i didn't go through the process of cooking it this time but i'll put a link to that one inside of the description of the video then i have some gouda slices and some uh, unsalted butter this is my Pillsbury pizza crust and i have some Kobe jack one of my favorite cheeses and I have some thinly sliced uh, green bell pepper and onion, a little black pepper, and I'm going to be using some ranch sauce. You could use any white sauce you want or any tomato based sauce that you would like. All right, guys, so I'm going to start by just getting some butter in the bottom of my pan right here just brushing it on you could use a baking spray but I didn't have any so I'm just going to use a little butter just to make sure that my crust doesn't stick at the bottom all right and once I get that brushed on I'm going to come in and put my uh, pizza dough down And guys, you want to work with your dough when it's a little bit colder than mine. That way it doesn't rip on you or anything like that. Alright, so I'm just going to take my time and work this so that I doesn't, uh, doesn't, don't rip it. And then once I get that down, I'll be back and move on to the next step. All right, guys, so I got my dough now formed in the bottom of my pan. And I'm just going to come and brush a little bit of butter on this, mainly around the edges. And that's going to give me a nice brown, crispy edge once this starts baking. And I'm not worried about brushing any more around the top of it, just mainly around the edges. Alright, so once I get that done, then I'm going to come in with my knife and I'm just going to poke a little hole, a little bit of holes at the bottom of it. Just to kind of make sure that this doesn't really puff up on me as it bakes. Alright, and once I get that done, then I'm going to come in. And I'm going to start adding my ranch sauce to this. And like I said, you could use any sauce that you would like. Any regular pizza sauce or barbecue sauce if you want. I just happen to like the ranch with mine. So I'm just going to brush that all over this. Alright, once I get all of that brushed in, then I'm going to be back and start adding my toppings to it. Alright, so let's start adding my toppings to it. We're going to start with a little bit of my Colby Jack cheese. You can use any cheese on this that you would like also. Alright, so once I get that added, then I'm going to come in and start putting my pulled pork on top of this. And guys, this pulled pork is the longest part of this recipe. Is I uh, getting that to cook, but I actually had some in my freezer already, so I just pulled that out and let it come up to temp. And I was able to just use that. 
But like I said, I will put the link to the other video I have where I did some pulled pork. So if you want to use that recipe, just look for the link in the description of this video. All right, so once I got that added, then I'm going to come in and add my onions and bell pepper to it. And you want to make sure that you slice these pretty thin so that uh, they get a chance to get done in the oven because this isn't going to bake long at all. So you don't want really thick uh, slices of onion and bell pepper on it. All right, so once I got that down, then I'm going to come and I'm going to add some more of my ranch to it. All right, once I get that down, then I'm going to come back and top it one more time with some more cheese. And this is going to be ready to go in the oven. All right, so I'll get the rest of this cheese down, guys. And then this is going to go in the oven. Uh, 375 for anyway between 15 and 20 minutes. And then I will be back once it is done. Okay guys, so I'm back. I had to take it out of the oven because I forgot to sprinkle my uh, pepper on the top of it like I like to do. And also I didn't use any of the Gouda cheese because I did have enough of the Colby Jack. So, But I'll just get a little bit of this pepper on the top and then get it back in the oven. And I'll be back once it is finished. Alright guys. My cold pork pizza is done. You can see this looks absolutely great. Nice crispy brown edges. Cheese has a nice golden color to it. And I'm going to let this cool down for about 10 minutes or so. Take my thumbnail and my videos. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to give this a taste test. All right, all right, guys. I am going to give this a quick taste test. This is my pulled pork pizza with a ranch sauce, onions, bell peppers. And this is still kind of hot. But I want to pick this up with my hands so I can show you all. See that? That's going to be good. Uh, let's go in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's perfectly seasoned. Didn't have to add anything else to that except the black pepper on the top. That pulled pork is nice and tender. Now I promise you pulled berry makes the best pie crust, pizza crust for a homemade product. Or not homemade, but you know, store-bought product. Mm. I gotta get another bite of that. I'm gonna fold it like that. Mm -mm. Mm. That's so good, guys. All right. All righty, guys. I got to excuse my smacking now, guys. Whenever it's good like that, I start smacking. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video, guys, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And also turn on the post notifications so you'll know when I upload a new video. 
Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, TikTok and Twitter, Cooking and Chilling with Kenny. And I will be back, guys, with another video, some nice homemade chocolate chip cookies. So until then, guys, peace.